Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrow, your host, and today we're going down to my in-laws, driving down the old dirt road here, and we're going to be moving a Connex, a 20-foot shipping container, from where it's at by the RV, and it's going to go, it's going to be the well house. It's going to go on a pad that we poured a couple months ago. Uh, my father-in-law rented. Whoa! Shoot! Hold on, I'm smelling stuff over here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Spilled my drink. Um. So anyway, we're headed down, and uh, thought I'd bring you all along. Say hello, Bobby Jean. What? I said, say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, I think you could have got a bigger one, a bigger, bigger forklift. Yeah. The weight of that is four thousand nine hundred and eighty empty, and that will pick up five thousand pounds. So we got like twenty pounds to spare. <laughs> so I hope this thing ate its Wheaties today. I hope so. All right. Let's see, let's give it a go. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a, gonna have to put a chain on it because. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just one. To, it won't, it doesn't have, the forks aren't long enough to be able to get it to, to pop back like that. So it's always been my policy, safety first. Ah, no! Okay. All right, go ahead. It's good. Hey, Bob. Oh, there's a knot in it. Is that all right? No, no, no knots. May I have it back? I remember one time my grandfather told me to put a knot in a chain, and I thought he was crazy. But you can actually tie chain. I don't know if you knew that. Watch it. Watch your good leg. Yeah. Yeah, just tie it, tie it right to there. That'd be good. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you might want to go over here, Bob. There you go. Do you want to hook on here or down here? Nah. If you, if you do anything, if this happens to move any, that's going to, of course, tighten or do something there. Well, I think maybe, maybe on that, no, I think on that anchor point there, it might be all right. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Try that. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. I'm hand it to me. There we go. Let's do the other one. Turn it. There you go. Pull it tight. Alright. 
It's a pretty view up here. I mean, what could go wrong, right? Never break, always fight. He's gonna dump me out of the bucket. Okay. My father-in-law is going to have to put some dirt right over there because it is, it's not enough room for the box to fit through the area with all this rock over here. So uh, I'm going to fill that in a little bit so we don't end up falling in the ditch. Might still even happen, I don't even know. past the house that was the hard part yeah that was so far so good yeah so we gotta we gotta bring that over this way i think we're gonna park it somewhere in here and then i gotta because the doors are on that side but they want the doors on that side so we gotta flip that container has got to be flipped around so that's our next hurdle that we gotta tackle so to speak So, 
We're doing real good. Real good. And then not so much. Oh man. I don't think I don't think 180 pounds is gonna help much, Bob. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be led. I'll fill the seats as express. That's all your years of going to Jenny Craig. It's I finally paid off. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Gee, many Christmas. It don't get much tighter than that. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> we got a little bit of overhang over here. Oh, about about six inches or so. You know, yeah, yep, yep, it's about about six inches so uh well, we're gonna have to since it's so tight right here we're gonna yeah, have to move yeah. that move the connex that way yeah move that and, and then the and then with a chain around them or whatever and right and tug it six inches i think if we if we just take the connex back that way we could probably get the forklift here and just push it that way know what i mean So we were doing real good until the very tail end and then Bob Bob just messed it all up. It's all Bob's fault. Ain't that right, Bob? That's right. I was, I was taking a taking a mandatory union break Jeez. and I wasn't here to watch. Machine got a little horsey on me and snapped her right off. I think I have another one in the truck. They they don't make plastic like they used to. <laughs> no. They don't make a lot of stuff like they used to. <laughs> Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bitter Adventures. Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Bob, you ready? Yeah. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, dang, hillbillies. <laughs>